just closed the window there so you can't hear the traffic. This is Sarah, your healthy carnivore in the UK on day 59, which means that tomorrow, for those of you that can count, I'm pretty sure you all can, tomorrow is 60 days. And I have a little special planned for you tomorrow for day 60, which I'm very amused about. And I think you have to be only my very regular viewers to find it amusing. So tune in tomorrow. I will film it um, probably, I will film it in the car in the morning. So it won't be uploaded until later in the day, that one. So, uh, but catch up with it at some point in, in your day on, on um, Thursday. <clears throat> because I think my day 60 update is going to be a little bit fun with a little surprise in it. I've planned it in my head and I thought it was funny. So if anyone does find me amusing, you may find it funny. You never know. But today is day 59. Though I am filming this on day 58. I know I'm just all over the place this week. I'm so full of energy. My brain is so boom, boom, boom. Let's film day 59 on day 58 and, to, and um, confuse them. That's the end of the waffle. Now, and also, because I work in a nursery, my clothes are going to get more cash as the weeks go on. I'm going to be looking more nursery-like. The rest of the school are expected to wear more sort of office clothing. But in the nursery, not so much. So I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to be looking more scruffy as the weeks go on. But for some of you, that's why you like the channel, because it's just so down to earth. Anyway, end of waffling. Let's get on with the topic, which is, I'm going to have a new feature, maybe once a year. Every, every year I'll see a new product in the supermarket and I'll think, well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. So this is going to be something along the lines of most ridiculous, ridiculous, most ridiculous new product introduced for our enjoyment. Check this out. This is the, my opinion of 2024 most ridiculous new product in the supermarket award. The award goes to this crap. Look at this. It, it, it brought to my attention. It became, um, I became aware of it because of the name. Smug. Brilliant. So if you buy this instead of your normal butter, you get to be more smug. I just thought, they are really... <laughs> That's brilliant marketing, right? Smug. Why would you be smug? Because, but I don't know who it appeals to. I don't know who this product is supposed to appeal to. It certainly doesn't appeal to vegans because it's got actual butter in it. In fact, it's got, well, I wrote it down somewhere because I'm really interested. 55% butter, right? So brilliant. But then less brilliant, it's also plant stuff. Now, this is for people, this is only going to appeal for, to people that um, have taken on board the message that we should have absolutely zero carbon in our atmosphere. This is for the zero carbon people because it's got 45% less CO2 than normal butter. Oh, they've thought of everything with this one. But how much CO2 does the normal butter emit or create or cause? A, and that's assuming that carbon should even be zero, considering that all life needs carbon to survive. Does it need to be reduced? So there's the first question. Does carbon need to be reduced? Comment below if you think it does. If it does, well then buy your smug butter because that's going to sort us all out. And in 600 years, we're not going to be underwater. We're going to be exactly as we are because we all bought our smug butter. Now let's check the ingredients out. This <laughs> I'm going to keep fiddling with my jumper that I've got on underneath my hoodie. I look so good today. I didn't look this good on my wedding day, seriously. Let's look at the ingredients list. We've got... 55% butter. Great. So it will still taste a little bit like butter. Then it's got 22% rapeseed oil in it. That's seed oil. Seed oil. 
which, you know, most people don't realise is so bad for you. It's probably worse than sugar. Okay? I think it is. I, I think that seed oil is public enemy number one above sugar. And then it's got an oat drink added to it. And then it's got oat flour, which has got added B12. So it's got gluten-free oat flour with added B12. But that B12 thing only really applies to vegans, doesn't it? Because it's the vegans that are the most obsessed with B12. But this doesn't appeal to vegans because it's already got dairy in it. I don't know who them. I do know who they're marketing to. Climate change alarmists. People that are big into climate change and um, you either are or you're not. And if you are, this is the product for you. I personally don't want to have my butter containing 22% rapeseed oil. So I won't be buying it myself. And I'm sure none of you guys are going to buy it either. But... It's, it's just got this big old write-up. You know, now we look at the ingredients list. Now let's look at their thing. Some, some 2023 awards or something. And you just get to be smug. You just get to be smug because you've bought butter. That is uh, not all butter. I just think that's amazing. But aren't they already doing that, though? They've, got, they've already got about 50 different products on the shelf that are butter mixed with rapeseed oil they're already doing that and they've also got a whole another bunch of butters that are just the oils and no butter in them just don't need this product this product is dangerous at worst because once you've really understood how bad seed oils are for you the product is downright dangerous so it's a very very highly misleading thing for your health I don't think carbon needs to be reduced. That's my personal opinion. And this is a, an opinion piece video. I don't think it does. So they're lying to you. And they're saying it's 45% less CO2 than real butter. And it's just a mess. It's a mess. So in my opinion, let's chuck those over there. This product wins the award for most ridiculous new product of 2024 supermarket awards and if this thing wins any actual legitimate awards then that's a sad state of affairs we're in right sad state of affairs okay so i've talked about that just going to briefly mention that last night i didn't i didn't actually do any dry fasting last night i did actually drink all evening and had a drink in the night and interestingly didn't need to go to get up to go to the loo in the night till half past three which and this is starting to happen more and more um i have suffered with frequent u uh, nighttime urination and i think it's starting to get knocked on the head now but i'm not going to declare that as a big video and talk about it until it's actually gone but i am going longer in the night before having to get up at its worst i was getting up about an hour after i went to bed and now i'm not having to get up until almost time to get up so I'm seeing that as an improvement. Um, we're day, on day 59. So, but when that's completely fixed, when my nighttime um, toileting habits completely cease, and they have ceased for a while, I'll do a video on that because I think that's really important because it's all linked with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. And if I can fix that, then the next thing I might be able to fix is the skin tag and then the weight might come off and bang she's fixed i'm still smirking about tomorrow's video by the way i think <laughs> most people that, that tune into this probably won't like tomorrow's video but i think if you're someone that follows me regularly <laughs> i'll give you a hint it's a follow-up it's a reaction video to a comment I'll give you a clue now. Now we're right near the end, just to get to the 10 minutes. It's my reaction video to a comment that I had. I've got a video that was quite a while back that had somebody on there saying, well, this is all the reasons you're getting it wrong and I seem to be able to get it right and da-da-da-da and I'm better than you. And at the end of it, it said, and you're just me, me, me. 
And then I got a comment yesterday backing it up saying, yes, people don't want to watch you because you're all me, me, me. And I just thought, right. I'm not going to get upset about that. What I'm going to do is a reaction video to retaliate against that because I just want to say, I'm going to say it now, but I'm probably going to repeat this tomorrow morning. Okay. So what I say now, I'm probably going to repeat on day 60. So if you don't like me repeating stuff, this could be the time to go because I am going to probably say this again tomorrow. You know, Dr. Ken Berry wants to help save as many people as possible and we all do everyone in the carnival community who's got a video a channel that they upload content to we are doing this 99 percent because we just want as many people to be fixed as possible so they can that there's so many carnivores that they have to stop their war on meat and stop talking about it yeah um if there was a majority of people doing carnivore now and everyone was fixed and the people that stopped us trying to eat meat had given up, I wouldn't need to do this. I wouldn't need to say anything. We've done. We're fixed. But we're not fixed. The health of the globe is in the shit at the moment. And the only way I can help is for me to be successful first. And I need to have this channel so I can have the support from you lovely people. Because I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have enough support in my house and enough support in my life that I do actually have to come on here and get support from you guys so that I can fix my own shit. And then when my shit is fixed, I can start helping others. And I think a lot of you that follow my channel regularly do know that about me. You know, I have to sort my own shit out. You guys are supporting me and helping me get it done. So that when I am done and fixed and I have lost all the weight I need to lose and have zero problems, I can then start really building my channel and start getting some clickbait going and getting as many people as possible healing themselves. And then my goal is that there's so many YouTube channels talking about this that the people that want us to stop eating meat have to subside and... Um, stop their anti-meat messages it's ambitious probably not going to happen but we've got to have a purpose in life otherwise there's no point to it is there always have a purpose always have a goal and a dream even if it's a little bit ambitious anyway i'm going to eat my burgers now because i need to get this eaten because i'm going into work in about 12 minutes and i need to get my pound of beef down me so Tomorrow is going to be day, uh, so I've filmed this on day 58, uploaded it on day 59, which means my brain has to work even harder to try and work out what day I'm on. On Thursday this week, it'll be day 60 and there'll be a special for you, a special reaction video to the people that don't get my channel and I want to explain to them what they haven't worked out already. You take care if you get any sun today go and get it if you've got any meat in the house go and eat it and just thrive thank you so much for listening bye